So for Hello Kitty, what I would recommend starting with is drawing out all the things that look circular with your shape uh, tool, the ellipse tool, just because there's quite a bit of circles on her face. I'm going to utilize Control Y while I work. This will allow me to draw without blocking things. So for example, if I try to draw something, it's going to block her eye, but if I hit Control Y, I can kind of just build everything that is circular first. All right, now that I have that, I'm gonna start using my eyedropper to steal color. Now, I told you earlier that when you steal color, let me use my eyedropper, steal the white. I can't steal the stroke, I only get the white. So I'm manually gonna click on the stroke on the right side of my screen, put black, and the stroke on the Hello Kitty is quite thick. So the number here, I'm just gonna put a little like bigger, just so it matches the style there. And I'm gonna do the same thing for our other foot and just start coloring all the shapes I made. Some people like to color at the end. I like to color while I work, so I feel like I'm getting more done. Now that I have those things, I'm gonna start building her face. Now she has these little extra ear black lines right next to her ears, as well as her whiskers. I'll do that after I build the base of her face with the pen tool. And again, we're using the same techniques we've been using. We're clicking and dragging. The only difference is um, Hello Kitty has a really thick stroke around the black um, line. So we're just gonna put a thicker stroke, but everything else is the same. I'm not worried about drawing through the bow because I'll just put the bow on top of her ears. It's no big deal. Remember, things that are layered is a lot easier because you can hide parts behind other parts. For example, this part of the bow, it doesn't matter. Now that I have her face, I can steal, just like I did um, with the feet, I have a good stroke thickness there. Now I'm gonna go back to Command Y real quick, or Control Y, and I'm just gonna manually draw this little bit of line here, just because I didn't want it to overlap while I was drawing the ear before. So I'm gonna take my pencil, click, and drag just this little line here and just hit enter. It's a tiny little line and I can control it with my direct selection tool and kind of move it around. But that little extra line is in the Hello Kitty face and any little handles I feel like don't look good, I can kind of move around. If I want to taper this line, I know you guys didn't love this tool, but we can go back to our width tool and pull in this line a little so it looks more cartoony. It's a great way of using the width tool. Now I'm gonna draw the whiskers and do the same technique. Take my pen tool, click and drag, hit enter, make the line as thick as the rest of these things, remove the fill, I just don't need it. And then I can go with my width tool, shift W is a quick key and kind of, if I wanted to, tweak the whiskers so they look nice and tapered in. Now for the rest of her bow, I will draw that with the pencil as well. Now for Hello Kitty's shirt and her little neck, I just took a circle for this, to be honest. I'm gonna hit Control Y so I can see what I'm working with. And I sent it backwards underneath her head. You can't tell. Uh, the top of the circle is there, so it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna steal this color. I'm gonna put a black stroke again. It's very repetitious. And I'm just gonna send this backwards or to the back behind Hello Kitty's head. So now you can't really even see that that was there. For her hands, you can draw this out or you can actually combine uh, a circle with the shape builder, but I just think it's easier to draw her hands themselves. So I'm gonna start with the straight part of the line. You notice I'm not going in the outside of the line just because the stroke is so uh, large that that's going to cover. As soon as I bring up the stroke size, it's not going to be a problem. Now, as I draw these things, you notice that I'm not being really precious about the things that overlap. For example, the back of the arm, the shirt itself. Even when I draw the rest of the shirt, I can be kind of messy about this and not really worry. For example, I can just draw the top of this like this because all of the shirt is behind her feet and everything else. So I really just have to worry about the parts that are really visible. So I'm not being precise here, but then when I get to this part, I'm going to be a little more precise. The shape looks crazy, right? But once I uh, color it correctly, put a black stroke to match everything else in size as well. 
um, and send it all the way to the back, it's not gonna look so crazy. It's gonna look just like her shirt. If you notice while I was working, I was really cognizant of coloring as I go just because I find it satisfying to feel like I'm getting stuff done. I was really also aware of how things are layered on one another. What's in front, what's behind, and I wasn't precious about shapes that overlap because I won't see that. If you wanna see how your work looks, I would highly recommend highlighting it all, going to object group, and moving it over just to ensure you don't have any white gaps. And that's how you'll work on the Hello Kitty one.